Hello everybody, welcome back to the gardens today. I'm out in the uh, soil patches because I've decided to, well, try and boost my success rates this year. The peppers aren't looking at all as uh, nice as I would have hoped by this point. So I've picked up some blood meal to try and check out and uh, hopefully improve my growth. Let's check that out. So blood meal is one of those things that claims to be 100% organic. It's a 1200, so this is purely nitrogen. This is going to help with growth and, uh, you know, the green leafy parts of the plant as compared to in the middle would help with root and fruit and the bottom would help with like immunity and uh, uptake of nutrients. But it's the nitrogen we're after today, so in theory, the blood meal should be a nice, easy, organic solution. So you can see some of the peppers are looking all right. Others are looking decidedly not all right. And I have lost quite a few of the actual plants already this season so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my teaspoon here I'm going to use about half of it per plant and I'm just going to put it kind of around the base of the plants not directly on the stem just a little bit out but uh, that way when the rain comes in and the fertilizer you know gets washed down a little bit it'll be spread out nicely one thing to bear in mind with this um, organic blood meal is it's not a liquid fertilizer, so it's not going to be an instant solution. Um, most of what's in it is not water soluble, so it's going to take possibly three to four weeks to really notice any um, significant results from this. But I've got, I figure, eight to ten weeks left, so I might be able to get in two applications of this and still see, you know, some positive benefits. And next year, I think I'll amend the soil with this as I get started planting things out just to give it that, that extra boost because it is organic, so I'm not terribly worried about it. So I'm at the base of one of those darn good pepper plants that Tracy sent me up from Texas. And as you can see, I'm just pulling back the grass just a little bit here. And I'm just gonna apply a small amount of my blood meal, kind of sprinkled around the edges. Then I'm just going to cover that back up with my grasses because we've got more rain coming as always. Thunderstorms predicted for Sunday. It's starting to be a pretty regular thing around here. Not quite sure how that Sunday's in the garden is going to work out. But so that's basically all I'm going to do to this particular plant. Some of these I'm going to dig it in a little bit, and some of them I'm just going to put it on the surface. But I'm going to go through the pepper patch here. We'll check a few of these other ones out along the way. And uh, yeah, pretty much all there is to it. Here we've got one of the sweet heats out in the pepper patch. I believe this is a sweet heat anyway. Got a flower forming on it already there. Bunch of little buds starting on it. This thing is way too short though for those particular peppers. So hopefully this will give it a bit of a height boost. Go blood meal, go! Here's that red Thai chili I cut the top off of. Seems to be doing pretty well since I topped it. Bushing out nicely. Now hopefully with this blood meal addition it will grow, grow, grow. One can hope. Next. So on a hunch I'd say it's probably too late for this particular pepper, but I'm going to add a little bit around here anyway. Hope for the best. One in front of it's looking nice though. Now I believe this one here is one of the Nepalese bells that did survive being transplanted out here. This one beside it I also think is a Nepalese bell. Not quite sure without my little legend as to what I planted here in the garden. Always good to have a map. Almost done this little pepper patch though. Okay, so with uh, all of the peppers in the back patch here fertilized up and hopefully ready to go, in the next few weeks we should see some results from this blood meal if it does work as well as everybody claims. So that is exciting. And from this particular angle down on my knees, I can see an awful lot of uh, flowers and potential pepper starts. So it's not as much of a write off this year as I was worried about. So as my regular viewers are probably fully aware, I've got a lot more pepper plants that I'm going to run around and uh, add this to. No point in going through the same thing again and again in the video, let's keep it short. So if you've got any advice for me on blood meal, bone meal, anything like that, other organic, natural, easy to acquire and fairly affordable fertilizers, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Have a fantastic day everybody.